The following program is brought to you by Gizop Productions. <laughs> guest, a man I, I hold in high esteem. He's a brother from another mother, my friend, my best friend, and good friend. I don't know. We have a lot of best friends within our, right. within our group. Right. But Eric Smith, ladies and gentlemen, what's what up, up, man? Welcome back to the podcast, Thank man. you, sir. Thank you. Very welcome, man. It only it only took us, you know, another 10 episodes to get you back on here. Shit. You, get, you have 10 episodes all the time, man. It's crazy. Yeah. I've been wanting to get you on here the last couple weeks. I've been having to do solo episodes, and uh, those don't really do that well in the numbers, man. Yeah, people not really. To... People are like, "Oh, Kevin Porter's going to talk about himself for twenty fucking minutes." Nah, fuck yeah, it's that. hard to have a twenty minute conversation with yourself unless you were on LSD, perhaps. Eh, well, um, unfortunately, that's not the case in these ones. So, you know, <laughs> goddamn, God, I, I, you know, I wonder how people do that. Like, you know, because the, there are podcasts out there that are just like a single person talking forever. You, like, you, I, I assume you put together a game plan, you know, you put together a list of like, all right, I'm going to hit this, this, oh, this, shit, this, they actually this, plan it? Plan it, probably, right? Oh. I don't fucking plan anything, though, you know, yeah, we just kind of just why would you roll. Do that? Why would you do that, right? It takes all the fun out of it. Creative processes. Creative man. processes, man. This is live, ladies and gentlemen. People are witnessing our brains fucking firing on all cylinders. Indeed. Live. Or know. at least a couple of cylinders. A couple of cylinders. It's a four <laughs> cylinder, man. It's firing, though, somehow. Pop, 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 man. Fucking A. Fucking A, Eric. So you're getting married in a month, man. What's up? What's up, man? <laughs> getting married. You, yeah. you decided to tie the knot. I am, yes. Uh, my longtime fiance, uh, Naomi, and I have decided to finally do it. Let's go ahead and uh, plug the shit out of this thing, you know. We want to try, so, to, try to try to get as many guests there as possible, you know. Yeah, right? yeah much to the charging of my uh, stepmother. Uh, How many people, Eric? You're gonna well, have I told thousands him 100, of people. I told him a hundred people. I invited a hundred and twenty, knowing that Yeah. You know, a third of them are gonna show up. Yeah, of course. I mean, really, but we'll have fucking seating for a hundred, so you know. Hey man, people are gonna show up. Well, you know, uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a beautiful ceremony. There's gonna be lawn games. Kind We're of gonna lawn have games. fucking lawn bowling, dude. What? Yes. How are we constructing lawn bullying? So Intent, enchant me with this, man. So check it out. So there is a lawn bowling set, and okay. it's pins. I don't okay. know exactly what they're made out of, but you just put them out in the grass and fucking okay. roll that shit. Okay, fucking a, man. We're gonna fucking. They say it says it's better with like short grass, like you know, like green. So make sure it's cut. Or yeah, make sure your your grass is cut. Of course. Um, your dad's always or, been very good dirt. about cutting the grass. Or, dude, or you week. can do it on gravel. Oh, you can play it on gravel. And you have gravel in your backyard. I do, yeah. Probably. I, I would think playing it on gravel would be maybe a little bit easier. Well, you would think, but like, you You'd know. You'd have to control maybe a little bit The inconsistencies the grass. of the gravel. Right, that makes sense. You know, I mean, that's going to make that ball fucking go over hill. Unless so. you got really precise, like, We don't hand. have it yet, so. Haven't tried it out. When we uh, <coughs> try to get the money together to buy it, it's going to be right. interesting. So, yeah, lawn bowling, and okay. then, um... I don't know. We'll try to come up with some stupid party games. You ever, or you ever play uh, uh, what's it, Botsy? What's it, Botsy? Botsy ball? Oh, Botsy ball. Botsy ball. That's it, yeah. dude. Or actually, I have a Botsy ball set, dude. Oh shit! Yeah, really? I should. I should. Dude, totally, you should bust I'm that bring out. That, bring also, that to your wedding. like you know, maybe like croquet. Or... Croquet would be fucking badass, dude. Right. Get some Batman going. Oh. Uh, some dude. The, the opportunities are. Anyways, endless. yard. You know, yard games. Frisbee. Um, <laughs> You know, we're going to have a potluck. Right. And it's basically, you know, bring your own meats. We'll have the grill. We'll have, you know, uh, I think we're going to get like burgers and dogs for people, but. It sounds like you, it's going to be a wonderful if you time. Wanna, if you want to grill something additional, you know. Just bring it. You know, hey man, you're going to have the space. You're going to have the coals fucking nice and hot. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. 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 And we're, uh, as far as like music goes, like we'll have a PA and we're gonna listen to shit for a while. And right, then right. We might have like an acoustic jam. Afterwards. Have, have you guys decided what song you guys are gonna 
You guys um, got like a playlist going? Naomi, or? Yeah, Naomi's Naomi's uh, you know in charge of the playlist, but you know, oh, okay. I've got some. It's gonna be yeah. I've got some uh, good good songs in there. It's gonna be nicely represented. Oh yeah, of course, uh, of course. It's gonna be an interesting situation with there being adults and kids there, but. We'll oh, don't worry. I, I'm getting a babysitter it. role. Dude, no. Alcohol is no. Jessica, Jessica the has promised that at everybody's, at every 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 one of my friends' wedding, that she's going to get belligerently wasted at. <laughs> so. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. I guess, I guess. She owes it to everybody. I guess she kind of owes us to, owes us for that. So. I mean, you weren't, you weren't, I remember because you were playing music at my wedding, so like you weren't, it wasn't necessarily you per se, but yeah, everybody else was fucking. That. I, I told say, him. I told him not to fucking. I was like, "You don't know my friends. My friends, they like the party." You know, put it that well, way. that's what you get for busting out good beer. I mean, really. By the end of the night, I'm like chugging bottle of wine. Fucking, I got wine all over my fucking tux and shit. Fuck. It was, uh, and her family's all like really like you know religious and Christian. So mm. it was, it was one of those situations. That's but it was a fun, fun. time. Hey man, dude, I was twenty. I'm thirty-two now. Like, well, you know, I got married ironic. at a very young age. So what? That, what, what, what do twenty-year-olds do? They right? They get, get shit faced at the Acme Museum. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is that, ironically enough, it's the same situation in my family. Uh, so Naomi's family is pretty religious, and they're you know they're cool. They're not like you know like. Don't let us in the house or something, but right. like, like, but it's Eric, still, we gotta have like, a talk about that. Uh, you know, it's about that music. Be, uh, it's to. gonna be interesting to see what happens when they're around people having fun. Mm, and fun. I, you know, I it's not like they don't know how to have fun, I guess, but it's just we've gotten to we've gotten to get them out a little bit and see, you know, how the other side yeah. hangs. They're like, hey, and, these, you guys are good people. We're all good people. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't, you know, we it'll can be a good time. We can it'll go mingle and have a good time, for sure, man. And it's going to be a beautiful, it's going to be a beautiful experience, bro. Yeah, I'm stoked, man. Beautiful be experience. I'm be very fun. excited. And then we'll go on our honeymoon, like, a month later. <laughs> That'll be fun, though. Yeah, but your honeymoon is, like, the honeymoon of all fucking honeymoons, bro. Yeah, like, most people wouldn't believe me when I said that it was equally our decision to do what we were going to do. Because, like... It's a punk rock festival from hell. I mean, well, I, I, I'll, you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and kind of explain at least, you know, my side of this because I wanted to go with you guys. Like, I want to go to this because this is like explain this, what this is, Eric. Okay, explain so what this for you is. kids out there that like Warp Tour, so Warp Tour was cool like twenty fucking years ago. Twenty fucking years, nah, twenty one years ago. <laughs> But anyway, uh, it was a lot cooler then, and mainly because there was just a lot more of a particular style of bands uh, that were very popular during the 90s. And, uh, well, Fat Mike from NoFX put together this music festival, and it's they had their first run last year. It was kind of like a mini warp tour, except just in- all the bands are in their 50s, and all the fans are in their 30s. <laughs> Pretty and nice. it's it's fucking Punk and strange, Drublik, man. The Punk and Drublik tour. It's dude. fucking strange because you know it's a bunch of older people getting drunk to punk rock music, which is typically you know you associate kids getting drunk. But now all those kids are grown up. And now so. all those kids are in their thirties, and it's funny to watch them fucking you know leisurely stroll around the pit Woo! as opposed to run around the pit. It's a good way to burn calories, man. It's a good way to burn no, calories. Yeah, dude, you know, it's, mosh pits, you know dude. the mosh pit workout, but it's, you know. <laughs> the mosh pit workout. The mosh pit workout for 30 and above. Yeah, right. And, you know, 20, <laughs> you know, 15 years of smoking cigarettes slows a, slows a lot of people down, too. Yeah, no, of course, man. You, you can't. So it's funny to see, People, you know, people now are, like, realizing, like, fuck, man. This, uh, this whole drinking and eating McDonald's every day and fucking smoking cigarettes. Uh, yeah, it's going to catch up to you, man. Oh, yeah. And it does. It does. It's like right as you get 30. Bang. So the one that we're going to is a special one that they're doing in Thornville, Ohio, which why in fucking Ohio, I don't know. I don't know what significance that really has. But um, camping, fucking drunkenness. Debauchery. Couldn't be crazy. Three, three days of bands. And so 
Yeah, like I mean, what, mighty mighty fucking Boss Tones, man. Dude, it's like the punk rock. It's like the festival of all fucking punk rock festivals, yeah. man. Like, Jello Baffer's gonna be there. Fucking Pennywise. Pennywise. Fucking the Interrupters. Those guys mm-hmm. are fucking badass. Yeah, there's fucking there Gunner is... Mouth's gonna fucking play. Yeah. I mean, it's it's gonna be a good time. Legit. Dude, but no, man, when I first saw that, when I first saw it, like, at, like the day it was announced, like, you know, I'm, like, texting you and Ray, and I'm like, bro, like, we gotta fucking do this. Like, we, we gotta fucking drive all the way to fucking Ohio. Like, I Googled it, because, like, at first, like, there was really no chance whatsoever that I was gonna go, honestly, but, like, mm-hmm. Jessica's, like, immediately, like, no. I'm like, but hear me out, hear me out, okay? So, here we go. <laughs> all right, so, it's only, like, what, 32 hours the drive between Washington State and fucking Ohio, like, we could drive straight 12 hours a piece, man, and, like, you know, get down there within three days, and, like, you know, I could take all my personal time, and, like, I, we could have done it, dude, because my vacation's rolling over, but then there was no chance Ray was gonna go, and then, you know, but this is one I'm, I'm trying to, like, go in a roundabout way back to your wedding about the love, you know, that you two really do have for, like, this type of fucking experience, was like, you know, I hit you up and your response was like, yeah, because I'm like, let's do a bro trip, dude. Just the three of us. Like, let's get another yep, bro. Yep. Let's fill this bro truck up. Hell and yeah. like, let's go. And uh, and then you're like, yeah, I can go. But Naomi wants to go. And I'm like, yeah. bro trip. And I'm well, like, then, then actually, at that point, I just, Jessica is like, no, you're not going. <laughs> so, actually, I, I seem to remember responding to you. She won't let we'll put me Put it go. this way. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to go if she did not of also course, go. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> but that proves the love, like, yeah. fucking with so, That's, I mean, like, what you guys she's do, She's fucking man. down. And, I mean, yeah, it's we've, had a couple of, we've had a couple of um, a little smaller trips that were much less thought out. Um like when we went to Riot Fest. Fucking Riot Fest, man. What'd that you fucking, fucking see crazy. at Riot Fest? Oh, shit. A fucking ton of bands. Fucking... Remember you telling me fucking so, Weezer? Weezer, the, fucking Blue Album. the Expandables. Fucking... I got to see the Descendants play fucking My Logos to College. See, that'd be the... That's worth the trip I mean, right there. Honestly, after seeing that, I... I Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, it was one of those... One of those shows you go to that it's like... Holy shit! How could it, how could anything be better right now? How could this? How and does life get that much better? What could have been better about that trip is that we did, we were literally we spent all of our fucking money just to go because we had a ride and then that ride dried up mysteriously and that we had to spend mysterious. all of our we had to spend all of our money on plane tickets and a hotel, but we were stupid because we did not get a car. <laughs> So we had to ride across fucking Denver on a crazy ass bus. Relied on the public transportation of Denver. (laughs) Seven dollars each way. And then so and so basically we got there, we bought like four boxes of fucking mac and cheese and a package of hot dogs and some sandwich meat and a loaf of white bread. Hey man, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But (laughs) we couldn't take food into the venue. So, you so gotta eat before we you had go to in. eat at like eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, and then not eat. And then the you'd be gone for like thirteen yeah. hours and come back at like fucking you know one one o'clock in the oh, morning. Man. Then you fucking wake up and do it all over again. Damn, that's and that's then, dedication, man. And yeah, so yeah. I mean, it was a fucking <laughs> it was a gnarly one. And all then the last the one, the last one we took, we went down to California. And that was fun, but California's a long fucking ways. How long, did, how long did it take you guys to get down there? So we did it basically in three days. Um, we were pretty leisurely about it. The right. first night we drove, um, we drove down to, we stopped in Bend. That's a pretty town and, to stop in, dude. That oh, yeah. whole area is we really had to stop beautiful. So, so we could yeah. have some beers and shit. And if you're yeah. able to like take your time and go fucking you know explore a little bit, yeah, we didn't really walk, have any. Chill time. and drink a beer and watch a tree for a little bit. We got there at time. like seven, eight o'clock at night. Fucking went and drank a couple of beers and then slept in the van at the Walmart. And then we drove down and see. I've been trying to get Jessica to do that. It. I've been like, dude, let's just sleep in the van. We don't have to get a hotel. Let's just get a van. And we'll fucking sleep in the van. Yep. I'm pretty sure she's down. We need to get a van. Check it, check it out. So that on that trip, Naomi and I slept in the van seven nights, and only the last two were in campgrounds. 
It's a, All the rest a, of the nights we stayed in Walmart. Fu- in Walmart fucking Farhi Lot. There you go, man. You have nowhere to go, man. Go to fucking Dude, I remember that night me and you stayed in Pullman in the middle of fucking winter, fucking after that Cougars game, the fucking oh, Apple Cup. Man. And we slept in that fucking Walmart parking lot yeah, and like I had to like keep turning I'd like turn the car on for like 20 minutes, heat it up, turn it off, and it's like, dude. Yeah, we fucking froze our asses off. Yeah, I remember waking up in the middle of the, you know, that, like, next morning, it was, like, hung over. And oh, just, yeah. like, And just fucking, like, all right, I gotta take a pee, and we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Dude, like, I, that was so funny. <laughs> that was we, crazy. That was a fucking crazy <clears throat> It was so funny when, like, halfway through the game, we're like, dude, fuck this. Yeah, we all went inside. inside and watched the rest of it at the bar. Yeah, we're like, oh, the end zone's right there. It's... Dude, it was so cold, and we're, like, stupid as shit. We're yeah. like, well, because I got the tickets, I got the tickets, like, the, the that week, you know, because yeah, I went them off the, like, I went off the fucking radio, and they, 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 uh, they asked, like, um, they asked, that it was, uh, back in the day when 1280 had the Brian T. Garden show, or some mm. shit, and, like, you tea know, T bag in the show, man, and like they're like, oh hell, you got to make a joke, right? And like, I'm I'm a, I'm an accomplished comedian, right? I'm I'm placed fourth at you know certain comedy competitions, you know, in the last six years, you know, well, whatever. I'm an accomplished comedian, so I, I hit him up, and it was like right out. It was 2012, remember? And mm. um and they're all like fucking um. So I'm like, all right, so what is uh John McCain and the Washington State Cougars have in common? And Brian G. Garden's like, oh, what? Give for her what? I'm like, they're both fucking losers. And like, you no, know, he's all hella Republican and shit. He's like, well, that's ah. sort of funny, but it's a, it constitutes a joke. Here's your fucking apple cup ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like fucking, thank you, Brian T. Garden in 1280 for hooking Suck me up. Suck it. Suck it. Fucking, I don't know. But <laughs> <That's> <laughs> well, I remember funny. us kind of like because we couldn't get a hotel. Remember, like. Yeah, we, remember we tried yeah. all those places. Like we got, it was we got all fucking close. We got there just because I, I remember I picked you up that morning of the the game, and you were all hung over as shit because mm-hmm. you were at Stefan's house, and yeah. I picked you up at Stefan's, and like yeah, you were just like I remember us getting in like barely being able to buy a six pack, and then like drinking in the parking lot, and then going in yeah. there. It was just so cold. I know. I, like there was not a, p- and then we couldn't find the fucking car. Oh remember, my God, yeah. we were all fucking that drunk and we so couldn't find the car bad, when we dude. left. And you, we <laughs> finally found it. Yeah. And then we drove to that bar. We drove to that bar, and we basically just hung out at that bar the whole entire night. Yeah. And that was pretty intense. And then we met those weird fucking people we smoked out with. Yeah, those people. And then they fucking, fucking ditched us. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh yeah, you guys can like, you know, because like you know, pass out in our living room or whatever. And they probably right. like realize like we have no idea who these people are, you know, whatever. Which I don't blame, but they're like all listening to us, you know, seven yeah. eight years later, and they're like, oh well, I guess they would have been nice guys, you know. Fuck, yeah. I feel bad now. I feel bad about that. But yeah, so, no, it wasn't too bad. I just remember getting up and like, yeah, I drive back to Yakima. Now, I don't know anybody that's having driven between Yakima and Pullman. It's a horrible fucking drive. It's fucking bad. It's the worst drive in the fucking world, bro. Yeah. I, I imagine that's what it's like driving through North Dakota or South Dakota. Or, or hell, for that matter. <clears throat> Could have been hell, dude. <laughs> no, yeah. Honestly. Like, I don't know. That, that whole east side of the state is really gross. And I'm glad we live I in mean, there's Central Washington. <laughs> there's like a 100-mile stretch or 120-mile stretch. It's, it's bad, just, dude. It's all flat and just gross. It's flat and straight. It's all farmland and shit. Fuck. Yeah. It's, Never want to make that trip ever sure. again. And I, like, was half awake soaring for through the drive back i remember that yeah that no you passed out because i remember it was sunday so there's football on so i'm like yeah. i'm barely getting like an am station to listen to like the early game whatever early game was on and i'm just hung oh, over we dude left at like seven in the morning too like i remember uh, i remember we right. left hella early yeah well, shit. it was like it was just shitty and we just wanted to go home well, shit dude we woke up it's like fucking you know 20 degrees outside it's like yeah let's yeah. get back to Fuck town this. yeah <laughs> I don't know. Those are those are some of the fun trips that we used to go on. Some fun fucking trips. Oh, no, man. dude, like, we haven't done shit in a while. We were, we were fucking teenagers, man. We all fucking used to roll up to to Olympia mm-hmm. to see Sean Holmes. Yeah, those were always fun trips, dude. Like, yeah, I always remember that fucking night that my dad's band was playing yeah. at that bar, and you guys came and watched. And picked me up. We couldn't even like we couldn't even go in because like we weren't even twenty one. You got dude. yeah. We were you like were I was like eighteen or something. You weren't even twenty one, dude, because you were like nineteen. I was like seventeen. Damn. Because yeah. no, because Trent was with us and he couldn't even go in either. Yeah. Right? So we were like yeah. fucking like I was like seventeen. I had my <sighs> first car. 
at that Geo Metro. Oh, yeah. That fucking Geo. Dustin's dad sold me for 300 bucks. <laughs> and, yeah. like, and, yeah, dude, so, like, oh, we... Oh, Geo. Yeah, we just, we ended up hanging out in your dad's fucking room while you guys fucking played, because they had, they had that fucking, uh, they had that, because they were staying the night there. Yeah. Yeah. And we drove up to Olympia that night just because, like, we're, like, fucking teenagers. And we're, like, you know, why, why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? And then we couldn't wake Sean up or he wasn't home or something. I remember us, like, going, I think that was that time. I think it probably was. Because I remember we ended up at the that one, um. Well, like, the, we went to his parents' house. Yeah, we went to his parents' house. he wasn't there. And they're, like, oh, he's at somebody else's house. I remember we like, got a hold of him because he had a cell phone then, I think. Yeah. But we had to Trent wait had until phone. morning, though, to yeah. get a hold of him. Because it was, like, 5 in the morning. <laughs> I remember so us, we, like, going to that parking that, that park and playing hacky sack. Yeah, and then they kicked us out. And they kicked us out and shit, so, yeah. That was fun. It, Olympia's a weird fucking town, dude. It's tiny. Yeah. And just, that, was it's a fun, that was a weird... Wow. That was a weird experience. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago, man. Oh, shit. It's, like, 15 years ago. Fucking... I don't know, man. I used to go to Warp Tour every year. I mean, those were fucking. We always we always camped out because there's always we go up Friday and we camp out by the Columbia River and shit. And those were always just fun nights. Mm -hmm. Fucking mm -hmm. getting smashed as fucking getting smashed as a teenager, man. Fucking a dude. Jeez, uh, the glory days, motherfucker, man. Ah. Uh. What was that? It's like you look back, you're like, should I should I have changed that? Should I have not drank all those fucking beers? Like, ah, uh, eh, probably. Yeah, dude. I don't know. We fucking camped hardcore. <sighs> My twenty first birthday when I drank all that fucking liquor. <laughs> oh yeah, Clover Springs, man. Fucking Hanging out with Ronnie and Christina and shit. Oh man, passed out on the fucking ground and like holding onto the grass because I felt like I was gonna fall off the wall. Oh man, that was a. Oh man. man, that was fucking intense. I got fucking. Yeah, I was pretty fucking hammered that night. I remember I ended up going into my uh, yeah, sleeping in my car like pretty fucking early in the night because it was just. It was too hard, man. Because, like, yeah, because I remember I went inside with you and I was carrying the bo bottles of booze for you and they wouldn't sell it to you because you know, I was under, I didn't have my fucking, you yeah. Know, yeah. That was fun. I used to do that with my Aunt Mary, dude. I used to go and, like, I remember one time they gave her crap because I was carrying it for her. But it's like, she's an old lady. What the fuck are you going to do? And, you, know, you fucking dicks. <laughs> she'd always buy, because that was the thing. She'd send us to go get booze and, like, you know, you buy yourself a six pack and right. I buy myself a six pack. No you know, we're all 19. Well, you guys were 21 at that point. Right. Yeah, yeah. I was 19 at that point. Dude, so. yeah. I don't know. I make a fucking big deal about that shit, but whatever. Well, it's like, what do kids do? I feel like, I mean, I'm like, I'm so disconnected now. Cause like, they you look back at our Tide Pods, dude. Is that what kids fucking do now? I, they fucking I don't eat know. Tide Pods? I don't know. It was I was probably I, I, one kid I watched, once, and that's where all yeah, that shit came from. You know yeah, I, mean? I don't know. I heard about the thing where like they shove the funnel up their butts, and like they pour the they do beer chugging, but it's through the butt now. Oh, like, butt heard, chugging, huh? I don't know. I saw that in a movie this last weekend. Yeah, I you gotta be careful with that. Now. It'll absorb okay. directly through the. Well, that's retarded. Why would you? One. Why would you fucking do that? Like because it gets you drunk as shit. Yeah, I would have guessed. I'm okay with taking a shot if I need to get drunk, man. Yeah, <laughs> like I'll yeah. drink some beers, but I'm not shoving a fucking tube of putting that shit directly. In your fucking yeah. rectum. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good on that. I'm good on that, man. I mean, it goes straight into your blood system, man. That's not good. <laughs> it, goes, it bypasses your liver. That's why people do it. it gets oh, you instantly no drunk, that but you're not sense. supposed to do that. Well, it doesn't allow your liver to fucking properly fucking, you know, yeah. filtrate it. You yeah, know, it's, that's, not, it's a filtration system. That's what your liver is, man. Well, it's, you know, like fucking shooting heroin up your asshole. I mean, <laughs> don't do it, kids. There's okay. just certain things you don't do in life, and stick a funnel up your butthole is one of them, ladies and that, gentlemen. You know, I mean, if you're going to stick a funnel up your butthole, don't do it to pour, to pour alcohol in, because that would be a bad decision. If you do it to put a a mouse in, I mean, please don't do that. That's pretty cool. It's probably, probably not too nice to the mouse either, man. Fuck, dude. Not really, no. No, I don't. I don't think. A, I don't think a live mouse in your butt. So me. from <laughs> <laughs> ironic is you have the South Park poster behind you. Yeah, I don't know the kids these days. I don't know, man. I just like with my own kids now. It's like I can't. Like I don't know because like I was all into punk rock music and shit. And it's like you know my kids are like, oh, let's listen to this song. And it's like some poppy ass song, and I'm like, ah, all right, you know, I gotta get with it. I gotta be hip with the times, at least accept it, you know. Because like my parents, you know, well, it's just I'm okay. About my this is what I, what, this were. is what's tripping me out. 
and I I know you're feeling this because you've got kids, but I, we're not the fucking kids anymore. I mean, we're fucking geezers now. Like, the, I, I don't know what's fucking hit. The kids aren't on Facebook. I, they're on fucking Twitter band. I know. I'm like, I'm like, hey, hey, where's all the 15-year-old demographic? Come listen to this podcast that well, you like, listen to, dude, guys. And okay, <laughs> there's even like these... 20, I don't even know where to find them. Okay, so I like there's even like 20-something people that I'm talking to and they're like, oh, bro, are you on that fucking Snapchat or what? Like, did you see my snap? I fucking night? hate see my snap? Snapchat. Like, dude. what the fuck? Snapchat like, sucks so fucking much dick. It's just know. fucking weird that everybody's all into this shit, and I'm like, I barely even know what the fuck it is. I like to use Instagram because you saw like pictures. I was, like, you know, I knew what the fuck was going on, but and I've always been behind the times on video games. I'm I'm used to that, but right. I actually all. have a current game system. How fucking strange <laughs> is that? I mean, it's still not the PS4. It's not the PS4 Pro, Pro. But shit, yeah. man. I mean, what do you want? I've got a job, and I still can't afford the shit. So, what the fuck? I don't know, Brandon. Or Brandon. <laughs> calling Brandon. you Brandon, motherfucker. Calling you Brandon. Um, yeah, dude. These fucking kids nowadays, man. Like, it's weird because that time of our lives just passed really fucking quick, dude. It wasn't like. Because, like, we were in our 20s, and it was like, oh, we're still hip, we're still hip. It's like, oh, 30s here. Like, fuck, dude, you're almost, like, 30 fucking five. I'm yeah. almost 30 fucking, I'll be 33 this year, man. Like, it's fucking going by quick, dude. It's going by really fucking quick. I know. It's weird, though, that I'm playing Monster Hunter right now, and, like, that was exactly what I was doing, like, 20 fucking years ago. Oh, dude. We're, and essentially, <laughs> we're still doing the same shit. And it's honestly, we it's a pretty similar game, actually. Like, the graphics are different, and it is more advanced, yes. But it's still, like, mm. surprising how similar it is. It's just like, whoa. <coughs> right. I mean, it's even a pain in the ass down down to, like, having to chase fucking monsters all over the damn map. I was never too much into the Monster Hunter, man. I was always I was always into shooting people on GTA 3, man. Oh, yeah, GTA 3. Is it awesome. wasn't really until this this new one came out that I really even knew what the fuck Monster Hunters were, dude. Like, mm. I never even heard of the game up until fucking yeah. just a so couple, within a couple months, dude. Yeah, no, I've heard of the history now. Like, but, like, yeah, it seems like a fun fucking game. But I don't have the fucking internet. Because fuck fucking Charter uh, and not yeah. coming out to fucking West Valley. <laughs> Sons of bitches. I got to operate on the fucking fringe, man. I, I work on the fucking fringe, Eric. <laughs> Gonna have to make your own fucking internet, bro. <laughs> fucking create my own internet. <laughs> Gonna go get it on the hill, dude. Oh, fucking. Just you go go fucking steal a satellite dish. <laughs> fucking put that shit up on Just the fucking hill. put a post note, Kevin Porter. <laughs> put <laughs> a gigantic ass si- fucking dish on your, yeah. uh, on your roof. Yep. And then, like... You know, look up, look up some night because it's fucking dark as shit out there. Yeah, I'm sure you can see the fucking oh yeah satellites yeah, of out course. there. So you just could see fucking them. point that shit at a satellite, <coughs> and the internet, booyah, booyah. That's how you get the internet, man. You just need some. You just need somebody to hack the signal, and there you go. Oh, dude, then you just go. But I need the internet to find those people, Eric. Fuck. Mm. I got. I got. A, I got a hot spot. That. I got a hot spot off my phone. I got Sprint hotspot on my phone that I can get barely in a good internet signal because, you know, I don't know if you know, but Sprint is a piece of garbage. Uh, phone, Actually, phone I connection. did in fact know that. They, they, it's garbage, man, especially if you go out, like, <laughs> like a one mile outside of city limits. You're pretty much getting the worst, you know, internet connection in the world, man. So like third I... world countries get better internet connection than I do out okay. where I live. Eric. Okay, so uh, when I lived in Parker... Um, oh yeah, I tried to, the same shit. Yeah, I tried to get a Boost Mobile phone. Yep, and Boost Mobile uses guess whose network? Fucking Sprint. So my network connection was so bad that I could not even set up my fucking phone <laughs> from my place. Wow! Like it would wow. literally not set the phone up. I had to yeah. drive into town to activate it. Yeah. Then I drove back out there, and guess what? No it is still it still didn't fucking work, man. Yeah. I don't know. Sprint, I, I need to get away from I Sprint. Could, I could take calls, but I couldn't get the internet. See, that's why I, I can I can somewhat mostly send text messages, but like my internet connection is really shady. I'll go into that, like, that 1X thing. Mm-hmm. And it's just like you can't do shit on that, so you have to reset it. Or, you know, I don't know. Most of the time I, I can get it to work. Like, I'm not like out of the internet, like, you know. But, I mean, to download anything, I can't download anything out there. Yeah, you know? that's it's, fucking lame. And then like we they we we had uh, we had one of the local companies come out there and they 
gave us an estimate, and like I was willing to pay the monthly bill, but then they're like, oh well, the signal comes from Tyson, and so you have to cut those fucking uh, some of those trees up uh, on your driveway, and we're like, yeah, no, we're not gonna cut a fucking some trees because we're gonna you know mm. move forward anyway. So it's like I'm not gonna cut down some trees just for the internet. I'll go without until you know our house is fucking built. So ah, whatever, I see. you know, like I don't know. Yeah. I mean, and eventually, honestly, there's a fucking shitload of people moving out that way right now. Yeah, like, a lot of people you see are all fucking... that fucking new. Oh, I know, I know. Insane. I'm driving by like two or three houses oh, that are being built like around us, dude. Yeah, like. So I mean, it, yeah. it's yeah, you're way the fuck out there in the sticks for like maybe another year or two. Charlie's gonna then, roll through at some point. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, mean, I I talked to him. I talked to him. Fucking their connection here is hella fucking shitty and like. I don't know, Get like, out. I had, dude, when, when we used to live over, like, off of 90th or whatever, because we were right off that cutoff, that cutoff point, because it goes up to 96th, and then the cutoff point is, is there, and they pass that, they don't have uh, service, so, like, for the longest time, dude, we were on, like, right there, dude, I got perfect internet, like, that whole entire time. Hmm. It was a luxury that I, I sorely miss. Now, like, I've been going through this thing where I'm like, ah, shit, I want to get cable. I want to get, like, I'm, like, losing my mind, man. It's like, you can only watch movies for so long. Don't get me wrong. I like watching movies. Right, but not having fucking any other. Yeah, well, anything just, other to watch gets yeah, involved. Yeah, well, you it's just like the gaming aspect so too, time. man. You know, it's just like I can't yeah. fucking game with you guys anymore. Like, I mean, it saves me money now. I don't have to pay for a PlayStation Plus fucking subscription, but still, you know, it's it was always nice hanging out because it's like you're fucking hanging out with your friends, dude. Yep. Yeah. You just working motherfuckers, and it's like we just like you guys are all drinking beers and shit, and like hell yeah. Like I remember Dustin used to be like, "Yep, I'm gonna go have a cigarette and shit." And like, like yeah, you know, like, leave the fucking thing. Fucking... It's like you know, he'd be gone like at least you know two three times an hour. Yeah, <laughs> it's like well shit. Yeah, I mean playing <laughs> zombies, dude. Those that was some of the funniest shit ever, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. That was fun. I fucking, I miss it. I miss it. Yeah, that's why we need to play locally. Getting fucking old man. Yeah, we God are getting old. It. We still play video games. I mean, we're still yep. hip. And, I mean, we're hip to us because, like, we played video games when we were kids, man. We're, like, yep. that second, third generation of kids that had video games. Well, 85. I mean, fuck. The well, 83. I mean, we were the first ones with decent video games. Yeah, we had... Uh... <laughs> Dude, on my computer, man, I got an emulator, right? And it's, like, on one program, it's got, like, you know, the Super Nintendo, Nintendo. It's got everything, dude. And, like, there was even, yeah. like, all the Atari. So I downloaded a bunch of Atari <laughs> games. That shit sucks so fucking bad, dude. Yeah. I, I have find no enjoyment. Like, I played the Pac-Man on there, and it's like, this doesn't even resemble Pac-Man in the least. That's funny that you got this super, super advanced-ass computer and you fucking play it fucking... Oh, no, dude. I That's ordered uh, I ordered this box set, dude, because you can buy the USB controllers. Oh, so nice. So, for, like, 40 bucks, dude, you get, like, all five different ones. So, you get, like, a Nintendo, a Sega, a Super Nintendo, a Nintendo 64, and a PlayStation. Whoa. So like for forty bucks, and then you just plug it in and play it. Damn, your that's yeah. fucking cool shit. It's not that expensive, dude. Because if huh. you look like the two packs, it's like it's about fifteen twenty bucks. So you're oh, saving shit. money, and you get one of each. So then, yeah. like, you want to play a regular Nintendo game? Boom, you just play it off your fucking dude. It's wow. badass. Like that's fucking. I'm sweet. just waiting to get paid right now, and then I get then hell yeah. I'm gonna order that shit. They've got a bunch of those systems too. Yeah. Man. Well, I have a modded Xbox just like you do, and that's yeah. cool, man. But it's like I don't know because I remember a, it's a while back. Cool it's not as the it same. Could be. It's not the same because you don't have the same don't controllers. Have the controllers. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the same problem that you had with emulators on fucking the computer. computer. But now, but now, but now it's how cheap get... you can just get the controller. Yeah, that's, that's fucking rad. Yeah, I remember when we were kids, though, because, like, in middle school, it was, like, when I first started playing with uh, emulators and ROMs, and, like, it was just the coolest shit. It was, like, fucking... But, like, I remember getting my hands on a fucking, uh, you know, like, a Nintendo-type controller and using that. Yeah. And it was, like, sometimes you couldn't get it to work, sometimes it would work, and, you know... Yeah. But, like, <laughs> it would, you know, I don't know. We beat fucking Turtles in Time on that shit, bro. Fuck yeah, we did. In like twenty minutes or something. Like, like, yeah, we beat we it like did. in like twenty. It was like twenty minutes, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Which I mean, we it's were a hard. Still, it's like, a somewhat hard game, dude. I mean, it's not. We, we were like two minutes off the record, though. But yeah, which is crazy that people can get through even faster. Yeah, because we plowed. I mean, uh, that was at our peak of fucking video game playing, dude. That was like fifteen years ago, man. Well, yeah, that's weird to think about. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, sweet! It is still there. What? Um, there is a website that you should check out called Punk Tendo. 
Punkendo. Yes. What 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 exactly is on Punkendo? Uh, well, you've got uh, many games. Let's see here. Um, that. Oh, Milo Fu. Oh, wow. So they're... Oh, cool, man. So they're uh, fucking ROMs that are fucking emulated into, like, just fucking famous punk rock fucking... See here. People. Saw another one here that you might be interested in. Uh, ah! Fat Mike's Golf. Oh, that... I have to... I have to get my hands on that one. Fucking, uh... Does he get... Do you get, <laughs> the, you get the option to choose if he wears a dress? I, you know, I do not know. But there is Metroid featuring lawyer Jane Grace. Oh, no shit. That's pretty cool. I guess he against me here in a fucking... The week after your wedding, dude, I'm going to that fucking taco festival. I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like Sabisquio. Sabisquio. Like, whatever. <laughs> ben Weasel's Punch Out. Ben Weasel's Punch Out. <laughs> That's great. And I get to go see Screeching Weasel this year, too, dude. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, man. You should come with me to that one, dude. That would be It's fun, on June yeah. 29th, dude. It's a Saturday. Nice. You should come Fuck with me. Because, yeah. like, Ray, Ray, Ray can't go to this one, so... Yeah, mm. no, it's like you said, you were saying earlier, we don't go do shit, man. I, yeah, like, me and Ray, me and Ray go to shows all the fucking time, dude. Well, I'm down. You gotta fucking come, dude. Like, we're gonna, gonna go, I wanna go see Screeching Weasel. He's gonna go see Slightly Stupid this year and Pepper, which I can't go to that uh, one. Yeah, I wanna go to that one so bad, but damn. Yeah. It's like $60. Like Is it like $60 fucking? $50 fucking dollars? $50 or something. Well, I can't go anyway. That's way... Well, fuck that, dude. That's way too expensive. I mean, dude. it's a good... It's a fucking epic show. You're I'm outside... Sure. You Hanging know. out. Enjoying things. <laughs> Indulging. Yeah. I don't know, man. Um, so there's that. I want to go see... There was a... Um, what the fuck? We're going to see The Pairs in May also. Like I think it's like May 25th. Oh, nice. Go and see that's like Pairs. a Friday show. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're playing at uh, the High Line in Fremont. Uh, so we're going to go catch them. And there's see this, the fucking troll. Yeah, and then there's this uh, band called The Monkey. Uh, they're just called Monkey. Huh. And this band called Franks and Deans. And they're just like... And Monkey, like apparently they're on... Uh, was it fucking, um, fucking Mike Park's fucking Age Man Records? Oh, interesting. Yeah, so they're on his record label. And we saw we saw them at Fre in Fremont as well at the High Line, uh, like last year. So they're coming back through and playing the Fun House next month. So like we totally are gonna hit that show up. Fuck me. And then um, in June or July, there's Streetlight Manifesto. I think it's uh, July, but there's Streetlight Manifesto is playing. Damn. And that's gonna be badass. Yeah. And then to end it in like I'd September. And then September, there's Rise Against AFI and Anti Flag that are going on tour. So it's like, oh wow, it's summer is pretty fucking loaded, man. Damn, and I know you guys it's are going a, to fucking. It's been a fucking while since those bands all toured together. Oh, I know, dude. Like they're fucking playing. Uh, they are playing touring with fucking hardcore. They're band playing the Wamu Theater, dude. Band. So they're playing a hell of a big, a bigger venue. Rise so. Against has been playing with a bunch of fucking pussy ass hardcore bands. Is so. that what they've been playing with? Yeah, yeah, we went and saw them. I, I did their new album's fun. I saw we saw them a few years like back, dude, hands. and it was just like, yeah. for one, it was in a stadium, so oh. like super sh shitty sound. Yeah, it's not. But fun. like, if you can't get on top buzz, of that, it was still just like, I don't know. All the other bands were blah, 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 blah. It's really not that fun. Yeah. Not that. Nah, it's all you know. That's all the little kids are listening to nowadays, man. That fucking post. I mean, I just don't like screaming that. Honey, much. screaming motherfuckers. But. I don't like screaming that much, but I really don't like wailing screaming. Like, wah. I mean, it sounds like you're having a fucking tantrum. Is that what you're going for? I mean, I guess if that's what you're going for, more power to you. Well, this is my artistic value. I come at this with a lot of anger. But, you know, my I'm... parents didn't buy me <laughs> the Nintendo, Eric. Well, you know, I guess I've never really been that much into hardcore because I'm not, I don't pu randomly punch people. I like to listen to some hardcore music, like Sick of It All. Yeah, now sick that's, all. I've that's been good to old a lot classic. Sick of It All lately. That's good old classic, you know. I'm going to get to see them at the fucking. at the show, too. They're going to be it. This is fucking real quick. This is just. It's just convincing me I just need to, need to fucking go to this, man. <laughs> Dude, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's $75. Yeah. For. So it's like. You know, about seventy five dollars for two days and fucking amazing. And then, and then I think you have to pay more for the the day before. But we've already got 
the campground reserved, so... There you go, man. Anybody that wants there to go, go, we've got two open slots, technically. But, uh, yeah, you'll have to bring your own tent. So, you you get, and you get to explore Ohio, dude. Like, Yes. It's, it's amazing. Thornville, Ohio. Thornville, Ohio, man. Dude, honestly, you know, like, I, I mapped out all, you know, what my summer looks like, man. But, you know, for if you're able just to go to that one sh- that one weekend, dude, that's, yeah, you know, that's like a hundred shows in one, dude. It's kind of, <laughs> lately for us, it's, in one you festival. know, I've, I've noticed in the last couple of years, it's been like it used to be, how instead of going to a bunch of club shows, we've ended up going, going to festivals, going to one big ass thing, and it's fucking yeah. crazy, and it's a wild fucking time. I wanted to go to Warp Tour this year, but they're not fucking, they're not coming through the fucking Northwest, dude, so it's like, whatever, Kevin, Kevin Lyman, I don't fucking care, whatever, it's not even like the, I don't know, the lineup's decent, I mean, they got a, basically, they've got the like same level. Well, the interrupters are going to be on it. Oh, interrupters. And, I mean, it's going to be the same level as what it's been, like, the last, like, ten years, dude. Like, you know, they ha- they do have a handful of bands that I could go see, and I would have a good time going and seeing, but it was just never, it was never the same once they moved it from the Gorge, dude. When it moved yeah. to the White River, it was just like, eh, I, I never gone to the White River. I'm going yeah. to that taco festival, that's the first time I'm going to White River. But I get yeah. to see Pennywise and Offspring and Against Me, so. So, there you go. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, no shit. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'll get to see Pennywise, dude. Fuck yeah. Their new album yeah. comes out on Friday. That's a free plug. Fuck For Pennywise, yeah. you should go fucking buy the new Pennywise album. Fuck yeah, I'm going to. I'm going they to. They deserve it, God damn it. They I buy every in. every album they come out with, man. Them and No Effects are the only two bands that I will I will still buy the actual CD. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And in the end, it's not even... If the Vandals put out another CD, I'd that. fucking buy it, but they don't put out any CDs. Well, if they have a fucking vinyl, dude, I might just buy the vinyl. They're probably be in vinyl. I just got a record player. I know, man. dude. So, I don't know. I need to get, we'll I see. Want to get one of those. Probably not. I don't even want I got a bunch of music on my phone. Yeah. But no, I mean, fucking I don't really vinyl's need fucking badass, dude. Fucking, um... It's just a cool thing. Are the Vandals playing that punk, that fucking punk and Drublick fucking festival? Uh, Yes. I believe so. Wow, that's fucking awesome. Damn it. It's just, dude, it's literally, like, the list is ridiculous. It's, <laughs> it's like, the, it's like, how are you going to watch all these badass bands? Like, you're not going to be able to see all of them, unfortunately. You well, know? actually, yeah, we will. This is three days long. And instead of Warped Tour having them back, having them playing at the same yeah. time, they play back to back. Oh, so there's so no you're gonna, stages? It's, no, oh, no. Badass. It's all fucking hour, at least hour long shows. Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, dude, that's fuck, why. Eric. That is why. Like that's how Riot Fest was, and they're obviously, you know, kind of, it's kind of a nod to Riot Fest in that it's that's you know it's a bunch of fucking punk rock bands and right. But like, look at this! Sh- like, I don't know, it's fucking crazy. What do I don't know, man. Okay. I don't know, so, man. The Punkadelic Fest. Here, 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 here. Okay, here's your lineup. All right, here we go. So. You're going to on see. On Friday night. Friday night. Gutter Mouth. Gutter Mouth. Jello by Afro. The Guantanamo Biafra. School of Medicine. Guantanamo. Me first, the Gimme Gimmies. Me first, the Gimme Gimmies. All right. Saturday, Bad Cop, Bad Cop, Mad Caddies, Face to Face, Strung Out, Goldfinger, Pennywise, No Effects. Damn. Sunday, The Interrupters, Street Dogs, Bouncing Souls, Lag Wagon, Sick of It All, Mighty Mighty Boston's, Rancid. Damn. So, yeah. All of that. Plus, on uh, Friday and Saturday night, they're going to be doing... Fireside stories from members of the band and Jello and uh, Keith Morris. Oh, the key, fucking remember? Keith Morris! Yeah. Oh man, so dude, holy yeah. shit, dude! You're gonna fucking yeah. dude. That's so awesome. It's that's so yeah. fucking awesome. So yeah, that's gonna be my vacation and my honeymoon this year, dude. That's a fucking badass vacation. Yeah, Lifetime of so. memories from that one, man. Yeah, it's next, fucking wild, man. Next year, they just need to do it in Oregon. <laughs> so now we just need to raise the $1,000 we need for uh, five plane tickets. Well, hey, so man, we we're, we're at the end of the episode, bro, so go ahead and throw your plugs out there, man. So, throw that uh, website out there, man. 
Let me, uh, get a hold of me. My name's Eric. It's pretty hard to miss. Send him on his punk rock dream, bro. This yeah, is send me on my vacation. punk rock dream. Because it's seriously... We already bought the ticket, so if we have to hitchhike, we'll fucking hitchhike. But I don't have the time to take off work. Don't let this yeah. man hitchhike. He's yeah. getting married next month. Hey, let's let's true. make this happen. My listeners are very generous, Eric. I, well, there I, you go. I expect you to meet half your goals within 20, 20 minutes of this podcast going out. So, Well, I sincerely hope so. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're fucking done for this week, man. Anything else you want to plug, Eric? You got uh, shows coming up? Got, let's see. Got to talk about Bad Habit. Record Store Day, Bad Habit is a three-piece without Dan. Record Store Day? Oh, yeah. shit. Uh, April 27th, Bad Habit, and... Uh, so it's what? Next, not this week, but the weekend after, correct? Yeah. April 27th, uh, Bad Habit, Doll Stakes... And Millhouse. Fucking it. It's uh, quite the lineup, man. It's epic. Epic. It's, uh, right now, I think that's all that we've got on the docket. So, right, man. show's right. coming up. Yeah, show's coming up, dude. We have, to, we have to do this every every 10 episodes, man. We're going to have to get you back on here for number 52 or some shit. There you know. go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kevin Porter. Again with Eric Smested. We will see you next time. America. Cut, cut, cut. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time.